Glory to God. Shalom, my dear brothers and sisters. I have yet another amazing word just for you. Remember, these words are to jump start your day. Words to help you. I know a lot of people need these words. You are not listening to this message by coincidence. It is not a mistake that you clicked on this video. There was something in the inside of you that wanted you to watch this message because it is for you. My brothers and sisters, this word is going to bless you. It is going to encourage you. Some of you are struggling in life. You are struggling with people. You are struggling with yourself. You are troubled day and night. My brothers and sisters, the word is you have people shocked. That is the truth. Don't you know that you are a mystery to many? The way you do your things, how you were able to survive their traps, how you were able to come up alive, how some of you, you got into horrific accidents life-threatening accident, car wrecks, but you came out alive. Yes, some of you had to go through a, a coma, you had to be hospitalized, but the good news is you are still breathing. It is a mystery to many because your enemy had calculated that you would die. Some of your enemies have spoken dead over your lives, but you are still alive because God is fighting for you. Because God is with you. And that is the truth. In fact, they marvel at you. And some of them have started asking questions about the source of your strength. The source of your power. Some of them do not know what really inspires you. Where your inspiration comes from. They don't know where your confidence comes from and how you are able to defeat and slay those giants. Some of you, you don't know that you are giant slayers. You don't know. That what you think you have overcome to another person, it was defeat to them. But to you, it is victory. Victory after victory. My brothers and sisters, this word is for someone. You need to listen to this word. It is right for you. Some of you have testimonies to an extent that you, you even don't know where to start from because God has been so good to you. And some of you, you have started forgetting your testimonies. That little small thing that you think is just normal. It is a testimony to someone. There are people actually who wish to be in the situation that you are in right now. Some of you are crying about your predicament. But there is someone out there who wishes to be in the same position as you. So thank God. Thank God for where you are. Today's word is from the book of Matthew, chapter 8, verse 23 to 27. I repeat, Matthew chapter 8, verse 23 to 27. And it reads, Now when he got into a boat, his disciples followed him, and suddenly a great tempest arose on the sea, so that the boat was covered with the waves, but he was asleep. Then his disciples came to him, and awoke him, saying, Lord, save us, we are perishing. But he said to them, Why are you fearful? O you of little faith. Then he arose and rebuked the winds and the sea, and there was a great calm. So that the men marveled, saying, Who can this be? that even the winds and the sea obey him. Have you heard that? 
the men marveled. These were his disciples who had been with him. They ate food with him. They saw him perform miracles. But this miracle, to them it was so big to them, that they marveled, saying, who can this be? Can you imagine being with someone but you don't know who it is? They walked with Jesus, they ate food with Jesus, but they had no idea who Jesus was. One time Jesus asked them a question, who do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? It is amazing at the answers that they produced. Some say that he is John, others say that he is one Elijah, others El Jeremiah, some actually say that he is one of the prophets. It is only one of the disciples, only one disciple who was able to give the correct answer. And that was Simon. Simon said that Jesus is the Christ. Actually, Jesus turned to Simon and said, wait a minute. Flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father who is in heaven. My brothers and sisters, what a powerful, powerful statement. The disciples marveled in the scriptures that I read, and they said, who can this be that even the winds and the sea obey him? Your enemies will marvel that even when you speak a word, mountains obey you. Doesn't the scripture say that you shall say to this mountain, Be thou moved and cast into the sea, and it shall be so? Some of you think it's a physical mountain. No, it is not a physical mountain, it is a spiritual mountain. Some of your mountain could be sea disease, your mountain could be, of course, frustration. It could be witchcraft. It could be depression. But if you say to that mountain, be thou mood and cast in peace, it will be. My brothers and sisters, Jesus spoke to the wind and the winds obeyed him. This is a word that I leave for you, that your enemies will be marveled. They will be shocked. They will be start. They will start asking questions. Where you get your strength from? But the truth is, your strength comes from the Lord. Dear brothers and sisters, it is the end of this word. Until next time, shalom.